Under questioning while she was still Premier, Gladys Berejiklian's denials were the first piece of evidence played to the Integrity Commission. I was in shock. I didn't know what to think. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have enough detail. I hadn't read what was happening. I can't remember what I thought at that time. In a private ICAC hearing held only a month ago, Ms Berejiklian insisted she had no knowledge of any alleged corruption by her ex-boyfriend, former Liberal MP Daryl Maguire. Did you at that point in time suspect that Mr Maguire may have engaged in corrupt conduct? No. Commissioner, an issue arises as, as to whether this Commission should accept that evidence just played and if not to consider why Ms Berejiklian did not make a report to this Commission concerning Mr Maguire. The Commission heard that had Ms Berejiklian declared her relationship, at least one senior official would have acted differently. Why are we pushing a grant, an allocation of funds through to a local member based on such scant and inadequate information to someone that was in a personal relationship with the Treasurer. I, I uh, can't see how that's anything but a conflict of interest. He's referring to a grant for the Australian Clay Target Association. Michael Tui says there was a push from the then Sports Minister Stuart Ayres' office to hurry the process, but the business case didn't stack up and was based on fanciful assumptions, including that it could play a role in hosting the 2018 Invictus Games. Invictus Games doesn't have uh, shooting events. So it was the claim that this was somehow related to the beard was um, imaginative. The Commission heard the project gained conditional approval in late 2016, but Michael Tui says the funding was far from guaranteed. So he was shocked when soon after Daryl Maguire put out a press release saying the grant had been approved. Mr Tui accused the former MP of heaping political pressure on the public service. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News, Sydney. And let's bring in state political reporter Ashley Raper from Macquarie Street. Ashley, it is only day one, but no bombshells so far. No, not as yet, Juanita, but what was unexpected today was the video video extract of Gladys Berejiklian being interviewed by the ICAC. And that secret hearing happened a month ago when the state was still in lockdown and it was a week after Gladys Berejiklian announced that she would no longer be holding the daily 11 o'clock COVID press conference, which raised some eyebrows at the time and in fact led to speculation that these private hearings were happening. At the core of this investigation is accountability and transparency around government decisions, which involves spending millions of dollars of taxpayer funds. And it'll examine whether these grants got special treatment because Gladys Berejiklian was in a relationship with the MP Darrell Maguire and whether public officials would have acted differently if it hadn't been known that Gladys Berejiklian was in the relationship with the MP whose electorate was set to benefit from this money. Now, these issues will be explored over the next two weeks, Juanita, and during that time, the Deputy Liberal Leader, Stuart Ayres, will appear. So will the former Premier, Mike Baird, the former Deputy Premier, John Barilaro, will also appear. And then it's expected that Gladys Berejiklian will take the stand towards the end of next week. Ashley Raper reporting there.